join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Korra. Today we're going to be watching episode 10, which is called Turning the Tides. I am so engrossed in this show, these characters, the lore, of course the world we know from Avatar The Last Airbender, and we're constantly building upon that, which is really exciting and fun to see, and the characters are just really really likable i'm really getting into it and i can't wait to watch more also tenzin is just becoming one of my most favorite characters ever he is so funny i love his little outbursts and he's adorable in his grumpiness okay anyways um let's watch the legend of korra thank you guys for watching and i hope you'll enjoy everything is going to be fine now i promise hope so Tarlock isn't who he says he is. He's Yukon's son. It all makes sense now. Amon captured him and took his bending. What? He almost got me, too. This is very disturbing news. Very. I fear Amon is entering his end game. Ah! Pema, are you all right? The baby is just kicking really hard is all. It's nothing. Is it nothing? Corrin needs more tea. You're a firebender. Boil it yourself. Ooh, is she mad? I'm gonna step out in case you two want to talk. <laughs> her face. <laughs> you have feelings for her, don't you? What? No. The kiss, Mako. I know. I... Well, I... Do you have feelings for Korra or not? Look, things are crazy right now. It's complicated, I don't know. relationship problems later? Well, there might Ooh. not be any relationship to worry about later. Man, it's tough to be a handsome man that all the girls want, huh? <laughs> Will you stay here and watch over Pema and the children while I meet with the council? Ooh. Can you watch the lady that I left you so, for? Old friend. I didn't realize you two were out here. <laughs> Would you mind giving him a bath? He's filthy. <laughs> this is not what I signed on for! <laughs> Pema doesn't really seem to like Lynn either. Oh goodness. I got a poo. Really bad. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been your future, Lynn. <laughs> Stinky poopy kids. Don't wait up for me. This council session will probably go late into the night. I didn't call an exterminator. Ooh, so she's a council member? They're taking them all out? And they're going after, of course, Tenzin too. But he's the son of the former Avatar and it's not gonna be that easy. No! Bye! <laughs> That's so cool. This poor lady. Uh, I'm so relieved. The other council members, are they all right? I'm afraid not. They've all been captured. This can't be happening. Wait, is that a lady or a man? We heard explosions. What's going on? Republic City is under attack. Man, Amon is getting very bold. Now we have father against daughter here. I've dreamed of this day for so long. And with the Sami feeling so burned by Mako. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Anyways, I wonder if, if she would be a little bit more susceptible to being swayed over to her father's side. Wow, nice parking job. But how are we going to pay for all these parking tickets? <gasps> Relax, the city's <gasps> under attack. The police have more important things to worry about. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Why don't you sit in back with Cora? I think I will. She's like, huh? <laughs> what? Everything all right? Yeah. No. I need to send a wire. To whom, Councilman? The General of the United Forces. Well, uh, you know, if only Tarlock wasn't such an idiot. His, and if he still had his bending, he would have been a very powerful ally to have. Oh. 
Tyka, the vents. <laughs> oh, nice. So they don't breathe it in. <gasps> Not these mecha tanks again. <laughs> Not this shit again. <laughs> oh, mm. powerful magnets. Well, they definitely have a way to counter metal benders. And there's only like one airbender to worry about. So if they capture him, they don't have to worry about the airbending part. This is not good. No, Tenzin! Come on, Team Korra! We gotta get our unity together, please. Please, Asami. Damn! There goes that car! Whoo! Ooh! Whoa, is that like a redirection of the electricity? That was nice. That was really smart, Korra. Hell yeah. Damn! Yeah! <laughs> I can't stand to see Asami fighting alongside those benders. We will capture them before long, and you will have your daughter back. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, guys? Look. Oh no. Oh, this guy. No. Mommy, what's wrong? The baby's coming. Oh, what? Oh no. Not now, baby. <laughs> you stay in there, baby. <laughs> Oh, what timing. Oh, yeah. I love watching Lynn fight, but can she take on all of them? This guy, he is good. He is, he is a force to be reckoned with. Stay away from my dad's ex-girlfriend. Oh, shit. Oh, we do have another airbender. I didn't know they they could fight like that. Change my theory. <laughs> he surely has a style of his own, huh? <laughs> Beware my flatulence. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh gosh. We caught the bad guys. You let them fight? I would have been toast if it weren't for your kids. You should be proud. Go on, <sighs> be with your wife. This makes me really worry. Cause I was like, I was thinking, Pema. you know, I'll tell you guys after the episode. <sighs> Our new son. Uh... A brother? Well, it's about time. <laughs> A brother. <laughs> what are you gonna name him? Please don't Rohan. say. Okay. <laughs> Rohan. I thought they were going to say Aang. I was like, oh, I can't handle it. More airships are coming. Everything's not going to be fine. Is it, Daddy? Jesus, this is too intense. <sighs> they are so outnumbered. They, there's nowhere they can run to. If Aman got his hands on my children, I hate to even think of it. If or you're you? Leaving, then I'm going with you. You and your family are the last airbenders. There's no way in the world I'm letting Amon take your bending away. Oof, that would be so bad. I want you to leave this island and hide for the time being. I'm not giving up. I'm not asking you to. I've sent word to the United Forces. They will be here soon. And once my family is safe, I will return. Oh. I'm so scared. 
Mon is so scary to take away someone's bending permanently. Like, so far it's happened to people that are just kind of like, okay, well that sucks for them, but at least we're okay. But what about when we're not okay? What about if they take like Tenzins or Lins or Makos or Bolins? <sighs> for the kids? Oh my goodness. Everyone, climb on. Let's Last go, time she couldn't go with that many people on her. Well, I guess she's fine now. <laughs> That's why they needed to take the car. Mustache guy! Oh no, not mustache guy. Yeah! <laughs> Naga! Let's go! Nice one, Naga. Wow. Republic City. We're going out into the world. We get to see the world outside of Republic City. That's exciting. Don't let them get... Don't let them... Whatever happens to me, don't turn back. Lynn, what are you doing? I don't know if I like this. Oh, she's so kick-ass. Whoa, yes. Please be safe, though. No, 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 no. No. That lady is my hero. Mine, yes. too. She is. Cora, we should get moving. What? What? Mako, what are you doing? You're basically just saying, like, I choose Cora. I mean, is that what he's saying? Because that's what it looks like. That's how Asami's going to take it. No. Tell me where the Avatar is. Please don't. And I'll let you keep your bending. I won't tell you anything, you monster. Don't do it. Very well. No. Please. General, I just received a wire from the Avatar. She says Amon and his forces have gained control of the city. How do you want to respond? Tell her we will be arriving in three days' time, and that I look forward to winning back Republic City, together. As you wish, General Iroh. He sounds like Zuko. General Iro? <gasps> Is that Zuko's son? <laughs> I can't handle this. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. So I know I said that like Tenzin's the only airbender. Like thinking like he's the only one that can really fight right now. But then when I realized that there are other airbenders that can fight a set, you know, because Korra, she doesn't, she's not there yet. But I didn't know that his children were like that skilled that they could really fight back like that. And so I started to think like, if there, if those airbenders are there, then they could have Tenzin's airbending be taken away in this story. It, it's more likely to happen. If there are other benders that would need to grow and to take over the mantle to to be that like airbending force and then i started to think for the first time that some of our people might have their bending taken away especially the older generation because you know it's kind of like in another show that i watched and i don't want to say too much but the older generation the old heroes the heroes the ones that used to be the heroes that have grown up now and had children 
they had their powers kind of taken away or greatly reduced so that they couldn't fight so that the younger generation had to do it on their own and so if and now lynn so that was the first time i thought like in this episode i was like oh god like we are actually in danger like our people that are close to us are in danger of losing their bending from Amon, not just people that we don't really like or that don't really matter to the story or to us. Not random people, not the leader of the wolf bats, not Tarlock, like it could be us. That's the first time that I really felt the danger of that. And then in this very episode, Lynn, I'm devastated. I loved watching her fight so much. She's got just the best moves. And, you know, it's not like she's not going to be able to fight anymore, but to have your bending taken away, such a part of your identity. I mean, what does Lynn have now? Like, what, what is she going to have? She lost the man she loved as a lover. I mean, she still has him as a friend, but she lost that. She lost her position and now she's lost her bending? I just have to really hope that they are going to find a way to bring people's bendings back because this is too much. I mean, I don't know. We don't know what the future is going to hold. There are a lot of episodes still left. And General Iroh of the United Forces, I think they said? He sounds like Zuko. He is of the Fire Nation, right? By the look of his eyes. Obviously, he's got to be Zuko's son, right? Because Zuko would name his son after his uncle, who who is like his father figure to him. Does that mean that's May's son as well? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, May and Tylee, they were not benders, but they really kicked ass. So, I mean, I know Lynn can, she will be able to thrive, but I just think she's going to have, she's going to have to do some soul searching. She's going to need some time because like she's lost everything, not everything, but she's lost a lot of her identity and her driving forces and her position and just her place in the world. She's going to feel really lost. Oh my god, this is such like a page turner. I want to just keep watching, but I can't right now. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go, guys. I feel it very like very stressed out from this show. I don't know what's going to happen. It's so good. It's so good. All right, bye. <laughs>